Hey everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Talk Toys where we not only unbox the toys, we also talk about them. So I'm Nikki de Guzman, news anchor from the Philippines slash toy collector, but you already knew that based from my background for today's video. So to explain the uh, change in scenery, I didn't have enough time to set up the living room namin for the big statues. So today we're taking a breather from one fourth scale statues. We'll be reviewing a one tenth scale statue, hence the uh, a little more a uh, cozy setup for today. So, quick story time. I recently met Alexander Manzano of Iron Studios, one of my favorite brands when it comes to toys and uh, sculptures. Anyway, so I hosted this uh, retailer collectible conference and I met him there to talk about our fandom, some of their uh, favorite statues, what sells and what doesn't. And next thing I know, I received this giant FedEx parcel at my doorstep. Thank you very much, Iron Studios. All love for you guys. They sent me a couple of gifts, but today we'll just be talking about one. And this is uh, the newest Batgirl. Okay, so let's take a look at the box first. Close-up photo of her. It says here 110 scale, and then at the back, is a picture of the whole figure. And when you open it, see these. So it's just one box. And the pieces. This is most definitely the base. It's a a griffin like concrete gargoyle. This is Batgirl. Look at that pose. So chic. So cute. So she sits atop said gargoyle, very much like other members of the Bat family. What is it with these people, right? And here we have we have her arm holding a a grappling gun. And then we have I guess this is her other. Oh no, <laughs> it's a cute bat. Um. It's a cute little detail that really did have to be there. A few oh, moments here. later. Oh, there. Okay, I finally found where this is supposed to go. Apparently, it's here. Oh, and it's magnetic. So, this is the finished statue. Now, we fully assembled a piece. Again, there are only four pieces to this. Thank God for that. Can you imagine if Batman ever posed like this atop a gargoyle? <laughs> I like the paint job and the, uh, the detailing. I like how they did their makeup here. Very girly. Okay, this is pretty much what you see at the back. Just her cape. No fuss piece. What I like about the base is that it's pretty sturdy despite it not being as thick as other bases. Let me let me compare it with my other 110 statues from Iron Studios. Let me just get in one sec. So this is Poison Ivy. Her design here is based entirely on Ivan Reyes, the comic book artist's version of her. And this one is entirely based of Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman from Tim Burton's Batman Returns. Everyone knows her. This one is a blend of the original classic version of Batgirl and her contemporary versions. The iconic yellow gauntlets here. I think they first made an appearance back in the 60s, but reminds you of the new 52 design. Birds of Prey version because the color palette is mostly black and yellow and gray where most contemporary versions of Batgirl now use purple again as her uh, costume colors. Now it's very detailed, the colors are very bright, and honestly this is my very first Batgirl statue. So it's light enough to hold with one hand, even if you do have abnormally small hands like mine. It feels like a, a trophy, like an Oscar. <gasps> Look at that chic pose, look at that cute smile right there, let me just copy that for a second. Okay, that was a total fail. 
thank you again to everyone who made it to the end of the video please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell if you want to get updates on more videos like this from this channel okay see you again at the next video where we as usual talk toys